DirtyHistory.com presents Presidents Who Love the Strange Part 1 Thomas Jefferson The Original Poon Bandit Thomas Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence, a brilliant diplomat, and the third president of the United States. Also, he would stick his dick just about anywhere under the sun. Jefferson's most famous side action was with Sally Hemings, a slave with whom he fathered children. Four of Hemings' children survived childbirth, and Jefferson eventually freed them. Thanks for taking our chains off, Dad. Besides Sally Hemings, Jefferson was also reported to have linked up with the Italian-English artist Maria Cosway. Now, Jefferson was recently widowed when he was introduced to Cosway, but the girl was happily married. In fact, Cosway was actually with her husband when she first met Jefferson. Their initial encounter took place in Paris, and the two hit it off right away. Perhaps being somewhat wary of Jefferson's horn-dog nature, Cosway's husband took her with him to England soon after their initial meeting. Rather than give up on this married beauty, however, Jefferson decided to write her a 4,000-word love letter, commonly known today as the Dialogue of the Head vs. the Heart. Can you imagine if the creator of the Declaration of Independence developed a crush on your significant other and then wrote her a masterpiece in which he confessed his impure feelings? What an asshole. Jefferson and Causeway's correspondence continued for the rest of the president's life, and historians are unsure as to exactly how involved their relationship became. Considering Jefferson's penchant for the strange, however, we can only assume it got quite hot and heavy.